Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Laura and this is a very special video. This is our magical 1111 portal that affects the twin flames, the 144,000, very strong every year. It's my favorite portal of the year and um, for good reason because it has the potential to align you to exactly what is meant for you in a very short period of time. So we've been leading up to this over the entire last 10 days. And I feel like this, this particular 1111 is going to actually, the theme is misdirection, deception, misunderstanding, confusion, and it's all kind of an elaborate scheme that feels like we are attempting to fool ourselves into uh, not believing something about your journey is off. Something is going to feel off. Something is going to come out of nowhere. Something is going to trip you up. And that's because the elementals are here very strong. The fairies, the elves are here. Let's actually get a fairy card. And I feel like they're playing on your imaginary fears that are not real. Let me just uh, move this down. Okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, they know your fears are not real, but they want to make sure that you know what is real and what isn't in your connection and drop into your heart. I've been getting this message over and over again. Drop out of your head and into your heart. Archons can only penetrate your mental body. Archon energy can only get into your mental body, into your thoughts. They cannot affect you when you live with an open heart chakra, when you live from the feeling space and from the higher dimensional space that you tap into, especially as a divine feminine. We're getting the singers of the chalice, which is about the Holy Grail. And I feel like this makes sense to me because of all the love that's here on this day, that's here for this portal. And we're also getting the sun, solace, masculine energy, and the fawn. Okay, I'm going to read about the fawn because I'm not sure what this means, but it looks a lot like the deer, the divine feminine, the unconditional love of the divine feminine. And this is the feeling to me that the divine feminine's unconditional love and presence has finally spilled over into affecting the divine masculine in a profound way. Death. Yeah, it's transformation that feels like it's taken a hold of the masculine. So expect your masculine to be very, very different, very changed, maybe have different priorities, be unrecognizable in some way. Okay, let's see what it says about the fawn. Understanding the nature of nature. Natural wisdom and natural magic. The merry, irrepressible fawn dancing in the garden, frolicking in the woods, playing in the meadows, sings out, Come dance with me. It is he who knows the secrets of nature. Interesting that it's actually a, a he. So it's kind of, it's actually a masculine presence in this context. Okay. He knows where the robin's nestings are hidden, where the mice lurk. He, who, he knows who lives down the rabbit burrow and where the pixies like to dance. He knows the secrets of nature. He teaches us to understand, appreciate, and express the part of ourselves that dances in the moonlight with the fairies, um, sings to the dawn, stars with the birds, and hums with the blossoming flowers. Okay, so this is a natural magic magician. This is a, this is a divine masculine energy that has connected to their most pure magician essence and frequency here, and wants to share it with someone. That's what I'm getting. Let's get a shaman card here because there's too much that they have discovered in their own um, in their own journeys that cannot be kept to themselves any longer. This is someone who's actually finding their magician power. I know I say that over and over again, but it comes through very strong. Let's see what it says about the singers of the chalice, the tree of life. Um, this is a feeling of legacy and of starting their own legacy and this is a feeling of the empress as well empress energy is very strong here and creativity and birthing children perhaps and bringing in starseed babies and starting a whole new lineage 
is what's coming through here because divine masculine actually feels like with their connection to nature and magic and the ancestors um the feeling is almost overwhelming i'm just getting thrown into a very traditional type of situation where you get married have a family and are creative and have this beautiful connection to your beloved and and that feels like what divine masculine wants as well many paths wild woman all paths lead to your divine feminine all paths lead to the feminine that actually to me in this in this situation this is actually giving me a little bit of a wild card okay because we're going along really nice and um, everything felt very um, traditional. And now all of a sudden it feels like divine masculine is going in many different directions to reach the ultimate feminine. Because I do feel like they're being misdirected here in this energy. And all the paths are kind of winding this way and that way. And they're kind of winding around like this tree trunk. And they're not really going towards this feminine right away. But everything the masculine is doing is getting them closer to the feminine, but I feel like they are they may be the last to know that. They may be the last to know how they're gonna finally reach this wild woman feminine because they're used, they're kind of feeling like everything is smooth sailing and it's actually about to throw them for a loop because that's, that's the feeling. Let's get an archetype card here. Tell me about the mini paths and the wild woman. Because what feels like is actually the most powerful presence here in this reading is source and is our higher selves running the show and solace, the power of the masculine collective and the feeling of source energy and love, nature that has its own agenda here that knows how to surprise us and keep us on our toes. Okay, because we're being heavily assisted at all times by the new earth that is being built that we are building and our higher selves and our future selves. And our future selves don't want us to start to get complacent. That's the feeling. I felt like I was getting complacent when I got to the tree of life. It was kind of a sense of settling. And I feel like Divine Masculine feels like they're ready to settle down they're feeling very settled and grounded here, but they also don't know what's coming for them because it's gonna actually surprise them and keep them on their toes. The riddle. <laughs> exactly, it's the twists and turns of where they're going. And I do feel like this is the counterparts and separation here that feel like you are gonna be brought together, but you aren't gonna know how you're gonna come together almost up until the very last second. And it may not even feel like they're going farther away from you. They're making the wrong decisions. They may be going to someone else. There's this feeling of that. And the feeling is also that that's the riddle. The natos and the crone. Yeah, so, okay. Um. This is a high priestess, ancient, mystical energy that also is undergoing a very strong transformation. The Divine Feminine, I don't typically get a lot of messages for Divine Feminine. But divine Feminine, this is an initiation that you have been going through. And I know I've been going through a very strong initiation for myself that has been like a dark night of the soul for the last two months. And so if you as a Divine Feminine have been going through something, I feel it's to make you stronger. I feel like it's for you to come into your sorceress, sorceress empress power here, and for you to really recognize how much power you do have and your strong connection to the etheric realms. And that is also allowing Divine Masculine to start to ground into their own sense of, of natural magic and power. Okay, but it feels like they're, the reason Divine Masculine is starting to, starting to pick up the, um, the trail, <laughs> the trail that's like kind of a, um, 
It's kind of like a treasure tre hunt. <laughs> uh, it's like the Goonies when they're going on their treasure hunt. That might be an old reference, but okay. Cause the feeling is that for me is that divine feminine has utter, utterly transformed in the last two months, in the last eight weeks into a total new version of yourself that's very much more uh, attuned to the higher timeline and attuned to the frequency of where we're going. I also feel like Divine Masculine is also getting attuned, but they are not, they are not as, they're still a bit in Casanova Don Juan frequency. That's what I'll say. They're still a little bit in the Casanova feeling of um, like I'm getting a Midsummer Night's Dream where everything is just kind of lovely and and fluffy. It isn't a, 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 a come to Jesus moment yet for the masculine like I feel like it's about to be. Because what Divine Feminine just walked through, Divine Masculine is about to walk through. That's what I get. Let's see what Divine Masculine's walking into here. Let's get some tarot cards on this message. Because the Tree of Life, okay, I'm hearing to read the Tree of Life. So let's see what it says. It's a 58. Okay, the Tree of Life is a sacred symbol throughout the Americas. Its deep roots reach into the lower world, the unconscious while its branches reach to the heavens, the source of destiny. I just saw 1144. Okay. To be whole in your life's journey is, uh, is important. It is important to have deep roots and high branches. A tall tree with shallow roots falls first in the first wind, but a tree with deep roots can weather any storm. To find health and balance in your life, reflect on how you dance with your actions, your thoughts, and your feelings. If you are too much in your thinking head or in a world of fantasies and daydreaming, connect more with your roots and physical body. If you are caught in mechanical doing and you feel stuck, not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open yourself to be inspired by the heavens and be aligned with your heart's longings. Okay, yeah, because that's the heart's longings, the singers of the chalice, the holy grail, and it's about what you feel is going to bring you the most stability and groundedness in your life. And that's what Divine Masculine doesn't even know what is going to bring them the most stability in their life. But I'm getting the most stability that can come in for them. That's going to be the frequency match to them is this wild woman that's being initiated very strong on the high priestess path. So Divine Masculine needs a high priestess. Divine Masculine needs a spiritual um, very enlightened feminine, and they may not even know that themselves. That's what I feel like is happening here. Divine masculine doesn't even know who it is, possibly in some cases that they are truly aligned to because they have not, they have not gone deep enough yet into their own remembering of their truest essence and power. And once they do that, they will then, it will be revealed and the riddle will be revealed. But until then, they may be misdirected and staying on the surface of things and staying in a very lower world energy of whatever is practical or whatever is known to them. And because what's happening with these connections is we are embodying the new earth frequency. So we don't even know yet what we're capable of. So if you don't know what you're capable of and Divine Masculine thinks they got it all under control here and Casanova is going to um, sing something into existence, uh, they can do that, but it's not the depth of what is actually possible because they've not yet tapped into that level of frequency. And that level of frequency is where the wild woman and the crone is because of your just been through all of your initiations that you passed. Temperance. King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Yeah. Page of Wands. Okay. Okay. Four of Swords. No, Seven of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. That's the deception. And Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay. 
So Divine Masculine, this is the deception and misdirection message. This is where this is coming in. All right. So this is divinely guided. First of all, I want to say everything is divinely guided. And if we are thrown into a path that feels like it's misdirection, that feels like it's deception, it's coming from your end. It's coming from the angels. The angels carry swords for a reason. The angels are not to be messed with because the angels know how to get you to see the light and see the truth. And there's a feeling divine masculine here because this looks the same to me. It actually has his little fawn antlers and the connection to abundance, connection to power. Okay, so it's divinely guided to get divine masculine to the treasure, to where they're going. And um, it feels like this is this is the, the Don Juan. Um, ugh, okay, let me, how do I put this? Knight of Wands and Page of Wands together. I just saw 555 is someone that is can be very Peter Pan. And it comes through, looks like Peter Pan here with his dragons. It's someone that feels like they don't want to be led astray by a connection that could be too sexual, that could be too much, that could be too intense. This is the feeling to me is that this masculine is trying to pick the practical, long-term, stable situation and not be tricked by their own tendency to go to what is sexually appealing or something like that, okay? And I'm here to tell you, because this I knew this message was gonna come through, that's the deception, is that it isn't actually toxic. Ten of Wands is something that's toxic. And I feel like they're mistaking a connection with a high priestess that's very intense, passionate, and checks too many boxes because it's too intense, that that they are intuitively staying away from and trying to convince themselves that it's better to, to go to something that feels like they are still in control in some way. Because that's the feeling to me, is Divine Masculine is still trying to maintain a a, a level of control and in divine unions you throw that completely out the window and you let the control go because you have to kind of fall into each other's arms you have to embrace the power of the connection you have to embrace all parts of it let's get a dragon okay um let's get a dragon and see more about this message that's part of the riddle is that spiritual energy that creates a new earth is highly creative and passionate and and that's a that and also very spiritual and also very etheric esoteric ethereal all the things and i feel that there's a sense of divine masculine being too overwhelmed and not quite ready because it doesn't feel like they are seeing that that level of connection is something that they would be able to stay in control in because you wouldn't you would be giving all the control to the divine which is here yeah so this 1111 portal is going to open a portal it's going to open a doorway that you feel you're walking through and control to where you're meant to arrive and be and it's actually a trick to reroute you onto your highest timeline where you have no control. I don't make it up. We're getting the flame dragon again. And I shuffled this deck. Rebirth intensity testing. This is an elaborate test. In this case, it's an elaborate test and it's a, uh, I will read the flame dragon though again, just, just to see if we get something else from this that we didn't get the last two times it's come through. Okay, it's a 79 card. Just in case that means something to someone. Okay. Purification, yeah. 
Uh, okay, these connections are being purified with archangelic light. The internal fire is heating up right now on your path, whether a rebirth of sorts in the works or a level up. The flame dragon is revealing the stage of purification. In order to keep, in order to keep going forward, in a certain direction, you may need to be more clear or honest with yourself about your motives. You may need to leave some things behind, be they personal attributes or actual things, people in your life, in order to walk into the flame. Yeah, because you're walking into the flame of a, a connection, and this is like a rebirth with the death energy, death and transformation, Scorpio rebirth, Phoenix rising energy, Okay, it is not an easy energy to walk in, even though many claim they are ready to expand, evolve, or truly ascend. You may feel in your life right now like you are being tested. Remember, it is you who have designed the path and the tests. This may make it feel less intimidating, which is the message in a nutshell. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I do want to um, also pull a card from this deck, Divine Journey by Steph Prost. And she is a DJ, a light worker DJ, and she created this deck for Twin Flames and it's so amazing. I can't say enough good things about this deck. I've used it for myself a few times and the messages have been extremely accurate, very specific. I told her how amazing this deck is. Um, and I will link it below in the description box. We are gonna raffle off one deck to someone who leaves a comment. So just comment on the video and I'm gonna pull someone's name and put it on the community tab and we'll get in touch with you about how to send you your deck. But if you wanna buy it anyway, the link is in the description box. Okay. <laughs> this just flew out, so let's see. The ring <laughs> and yin yang. Okay, commitment is coming in these unions. I don't know how else to read that. That's very, very specific feeling to me. So the ring is commitment that feels like it's on the mind of the masculine in a very, very strong, powerful way. And, and that it's coming, okay? Yin yang is the sense of you coming into inner union in yourself and outer union with other man and mountain, okay. The feeling of ascension is very strong with the masculine collective. And I also, I get, let's see what she says about man here. Cause I feel like that could be divine masculine and that could be a sense of what, like an every man is how this feels to me. A feeling of divine masculine that is not an every man. You're gonna have a slightly different journey here. So I feel like, and I'm just gonna say what I'm getting, um, is that Divine Masculine is trying to be like an everyman and not realize that they are, they are here to be in a Twin Flame union. And there is a strong misconception sometimes that Twin Flames are not meant to be together. And that's actually not true. Everything I've ever channeled and everything that's come through from Source and for our wave is that Twin Flames coming together in union is what creates the new earth and this ascension timeline that we are anchoring in. And your journey is not gonna be like everyone else's. So this traditional type of situation that Divine Masculine thinks they're doing, like someone who's just ever, anyone, um, that's not you because you're already elevated with the mountain, you're elevated in your frequency for something very special that's, that is a commitment to God. That's what I'm hearing. It's not a commitment to your counterpart. It's a commitment to God. Okay. So with that, I am sending you all much peace and light. And we will check in again on Patreon for the 11.11 portal. There'll be another video in the next 24 hours or so over there. And I so said, have a, have a beautiful rest of your week and this portal energy and enjoy the twists and turns that we created for ourselves. Take care, everyone.